All right, hello, my fans. All right, this is a practice quiz, which is uh, the quiz right before the test. Uh, you have the answers on the back of this guide sheet, so you should be checking your answers. But if you uh, would like to see how any of them done, that's why I'm doing the video. All right, so let's start out. This is our key. And remember, when you're multiplying exponents, you add the exponents. When you're multiplying numbers, you just multiply numbers like normal. So it's 2 times 3 times negative 4. So 2 times 3 is 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. And then you add the exponents. 3 and 4 is 7 minus 2 is 5. So negative 24 x to the fifth. All right. The next one, again, multiplying. So we got negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 x to the twelfth y to the negative seventh, because remember that's an exponent of one. Now you can't leave it like that. Remember, no negative exponents in your final answer. So this guy goes, we're going to draw a fraction, and that goes to the bottom of the fraction. So it's 12x squared, or sorry, x to the twelfth, over y to the seventh. Okay. Uh, next one. It's uh, everything squared, so we're going to just, it's negative four squared, which is 16. x to the negative 2 squared, x to the negative 4. And y to the third squared is y to the sixth. Again, we're not done. We have a negative exponent. So it's going to be 16y to the sixth over x to the fourth. Okay? Uh, the next problem, just simplify. Um, we have 6 over 24, which is 1 fourth. And then remember what I told you guys to do. You can either do it mathematically where you say the top exponent minus the bottom exponent, or you can do it using battle. Now in this case here we have spies in the bottom, right? We have x to the negative 7, so that goes to the top. So we really have 20 armies on top. And the negative 5 goes to the bottom, so we really have 12 armies on the bottom. And that's your final answer. And the only thing is we don't really write this one here. I, I just wrote that initially because it's just kind of easy to say 6 over 24 is 1 fourth because if there was no number on top or no uh, variable on top you would just write you'd have to have a 1 on top there as a placeholder okay alright so let's go to number 5 um, everything's simplified inside the parentheses so you really just need to uh, cube everything so it's really x squared cubed which is x to the sixth remember you multiply when you raise a power to a power over 2 cubed 2 cubed is 8 It's not 2 times 3, it's 2 times 2 times 2. So your answer is x to the 6th over 8. Okay, the next one, um, what I recommend it to do is simplify the numbers first and then multiply all the variables together on top and then uh, last step is to battle. So um, if I look here with the 4 and the 8, and remember guys, this is just like saying 10, I'm going to write on the side here, 10 fourths times 8 thirds. Okay, getting rid of all the variables. So how do you simplify that? You go, oh, uh, 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice, and is there anything else I can do? No. So you would just get 20, so let's write that now, you get 20 over 3. Okay, and let's put the x's together. So x to the 5th times x to the 3rd is x to the 8th. Um, y squared times y to the 3rd is y to the 5th. Uh, x times x is x squared and y squared. All right, and then your last step is to do battle. Obviously, I can't reduce the 20 over 3. Uh, do the battle with the x's. The north wins by 6. Uh, do battle with the y's. The north wins by 3. Okay, so you know, just be careful. Um, don't make goofy mistakes. And uh, just again, if you follow kind of everything that we've done. Uh, you should be good. Okay, uh, number seven. What I recommend you do is when you see a negative exponent on the outside here, why don't you just flip the whole thing? So it's going to be three over x cubed to the positive two. That's a lot easier. Then you don't have to deal with the negative exponent later. Okay, just flip everything and make it positive, and then you just say three squared is nine. X cubed squared is x to the sixth. That's your answer. All right, now this one you got to be really careful. Please don't tell me the answer is 1. It's negative 5 times 1, which is negative 5. All right, that's really important. Uh, if it was this, negative 5x to the 0, everything in parentheses, that would be 1. All right, so that's important. 
Okay, number nine, uh, negative three to the negative two power. Uh, remember, anything with a negative exponent goes to the other side of the fraction. It's also in parentheses, so the answer is one ninth. All right, so um, here the five stays on top. The b squared cubed goes in the bottom. So we, has we have five over b to the sixth. Okay, number 11. Uh, once again, simplify the numbers first. So we're going to have um, again. I can write this kind of on the side here. Well, okay, here I'll just do it. It's eight, uh, eight and four, right? So four goes into four once. Eight goes in, or four goes into eight twice. Uh, three goes into three once. Three goes into nine three times. And then you just multiply everything straight across. So it's going to be two thirds. And then x to the negative 2 times x to the 5th, you add the exponents, you get x to the 3rd. y to the 5th times y to the negative 3rd, you get y squared, because 5 minus 3. x squared times x to the negative 2 is x to the 0. And y to the 1st times y to the 1st is y squared. So if you look, that x to the 0 really just is not there. Remember I told you x to the 0 is 1. You could battle 2, it doesn't matter. Who wins? Well, the top wins by 3. So you have two thirds and x cubed on top, and then the x and the y's just cancel. So that's your answer. Okay, the next problem really is just like a big fraction, and that four uh, x squared y all goes to the bottom of the fraction. So you really have two x cubed y cubed over four x squared y, and that's to the positive two now. Okay, so we have 2x cubed, y cubed, and that's 4 squared of 16. You can't, I know a lot of you want to go, oh, hey, I crossed the 2 and the 4 out, but you can't do that because this is in parentheses with a squared. You have to square it first. It's kind of like following all the orders of operation. You've got to square it first. So it's going to be 16x to the 4th y squared. Now you can simplify. That's 1 eighth. Okay, so we have one eighth, and we do battle with the x's. The bottom wins by one. Do battle with the y's. The top wins by one. So your answer is get rid of this one now. Your answer is y over eight x. Okay. Um, number thirteen is a little tricky because you've got parentheses and you have no parentheses. All right, so the deal, let's kind of just think about the sign first, even before we start the problem. Do you agree this negative 4 squared, isn't that going to be a negative 16 because there's no parentheses? And what happens, even though there is parentheses here, do you guys agree that we're going to have a um, still a negative because it's an odd power? So it's really going to be negative 16 on the bottom. On the top, it's going to be a negative also. And it's actually negative 64, if you would actually put that in your calculator. And uh, so this, the two negatives become a positive, and 64 over 16 is actually 4. All right? So that's, it's a little tricky, um, but, uh, you know, you just kind of have to follow some of the rules that you guys learn. Okay, this next one. Number 14, I would definitely simplify everything first before you, you do anything with the exponent. I've always said that. All right. So uh, negative 6 over 3 is negative 2 over 1, or negative 2. Um, you get a squared stays there. Uh, c comes to the top of the fraction, so c squared. And b to the fourth goes to the bottom of the fraction. Right? They're spies, so they go home. Now you can square everything. I think it's so much easier. So now it's negative 2 squared, which is positive 4. A to the fourth, C to the fourth, over B to the eighth. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so the next part here it says write using standard notation. So that just means uh, write 
and it's a negative exponent, guys. So that means you move it to, and I never teach you to move it to the left or move it to the right. I just said if you have a negative exponent, it's a small number. I mean, it's like 0 .000, 000 it's something small. So you know you have to move it to the left. So you move it over one, two, three, four. So we put our zeros in there, and our decimal goes right there. So it's point zero 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 three nine because we moved over one, two, three, four decimal places. Okay. So this one's a big number times ten to the fifth, and number sixteen. That means it's going to be a big number. So you can move it over five decimal places. So six, seven, eight. So it's one, two. The right, the decimal was here. So we moved over one, two, three, four, five. So put your zeros in there. One, two, three, four, five. So six, seven, eight, zero, zero, zero. So that's your answer. Six hundred seventy-eight thousand. All right. Um, five times ten to the zero. Zero means you don't move the decimal places over any. In fact, if you remember, isn't ten to the zero anything to the zero one power? So it's really like saying five times one, or not moving it over. So the answer is just five. Okay. Se seven times ten to the first. That means you move over one place. That's 70. Or think of it this way, 7 times, what's 10 to the first is 10. What's 7 times 10? 70. All right? Uh, scientific notation. So now we're putting in the scientific notation. That means that's actually almost a little bit easier. You move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? The decimal always starts here. So it's 2.56 times 10 to the fifth power. And remember, guys, the decimal always belongs after the first non-zero digit. Very important. All right, so if I, um, you know, use your calculator, it's 3.4 times 8, because uh, we're doing a little multiplication here. And 3.4 times 8 is uh, 27.2. All right, you do that in your calculator. And then 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 4th is times 10 to the 9th. Now, please, if you left it in this form, it's wrong. The decimal needs to be here. So you move it over one decimal place, so it's 22.72 times 10. And just think about it, guys. You made a bigger number smaller, so you got to balance it somehow with the exponent. If you made that smaller, that means you have to make the exponent bigger. And you have 2.72 times 10 to the 10th. All right? Okay, 21. Um, again, putting it into scientific notation. So it's a small number, so that means it's going to be a negative exponent. So you're going to move it over. Here's the decimal right here. So you move over one, two, three places. So it's 5.607 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, so let's do number 22. Uh, 6.8 times 5.6. Do it in your calculator. It's going to be 30. 8.08. .08. Okay, and then you add the exponents. So negative three plus two is negative one. So times ten to the negative one. But remember, you're making this smaller because it's got to be 3.808. .08. And if I make that smaller, I make the exponent bigger. And how do you make a negative bigger? You add one to it. So it's times ten to the zero. All right. Uh, the next one. What I suggest you guys do is you use scientific notation. That's the whole point of this. So if I move it over one, two, three, four places, it's 5.43 times 10, let's say one, two, three, four, to the negative fourth power. And then 5 million is 5 times 10, move it over six places, times 10 to the sixth. And then you multiply um, 5.43 times 5, and you get two, um, 27.15 times 10 to the, and you add the exponents, times 10 to the second. And then again, you got to move it over. So it's 2.715 times 10. I made it smaller, so I make the exponent bigger. Okay, same thing with this guy here. That's 3,200,000, so I'm going to move, it's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the sixth. 46,000 is. 4.6 times 10 to the fourth. And you multiply those together, and you get 14.72 um, times 10 to the sixth plus four is 10th power. 
move it over one. So it's 1.472 times 10 to the 11th. Make, make that bigger to compensate. Okay? Okay, the last two problems are division. So just remember, it's, you're going to subtract. So in this case, it's obviously 4.8 divided by 3 is 1.6, and 8 minus 6 is 2. So 1.6 times 10 to the second. That's in correct scientific notation, so you're done with that problem. Okay, the next one, 2.1 divided by 3.5, that gives you 0 0.6 times 10, and then you have to subtract. You can't do battle, guys, because you can't have anything in the denominator. So it's negative 5 minus a negative 2, which is negative 5 plus 2, or negative 3. So 0 0.6 times 10 to the negative third, and then you move it over one decimal place, so it's 6 times 10. I made that number bigger, so I have to compensate by making that number smaller. How do you make a negative smaller? You subtract 1. And the answer is 6 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, so hopefully this helps you get ready for your test. Look all over all your worksheets, all the different types of problems, and just uh, you got to practice. That's all it is, a lot of practice. All right, math fans, have a nice day. Bye-bye.